running on mid throttle is more stress on the ESC. So, believe it or not. The magic works, what can I say, yeah, putting a few capacitors on the end of a harness, in the real world it works.
Okay, yeah, I've just watched the video, uh, very impressed, uh, plenty of poke, everything stayed cool, even with the extension lead. Uh, the flow was a bit weak coming out the cooling pipes, because there's a bit of too much going on there, I'll have to cut them down and, uh, and increase the flow. So I'm sorry about giving the, uh, the board the kiss alive, uh, but I was just checking the flow. Uh, yes, the extension leads work very well. But what we've got to do is put some capacitors on the end of it uh, just to stop uh, the amp spikes and regulate them a little bit uh, as the capacitors on the ESC seem to be getting quite warm. So to take the load off them and to share the work we're going to put some capacitors on there. It worked very well but I'm probably going to try quite a few more on it just to see if it even increases the, uh, the cooling of these even more. Uh, you can buy uh, ready-made packs that are ready just to solder on and I'll leave a link uh, uh, in the description also you can make them yourself like I have as long as you solder them up all in the uh, in the right direction all in uh, parallel black to black negative to negative positive to positive on everything uh, the only thing that you've really got to watch out for apparently so i've read but don't take my word for it go and read up on it i'll leave a link to some uh, literature in the description but as long as the voltage which is 63 volts on this one uh, matches up or is higher than the voltage in these which is 63 volts as well everything should be okay Okay, what you don't want is an under voltage caps on here because things will go pop and not work very well. So yes, uh, the harness worked very well. Uh, the only other way to do it, which is supposedly the better way, is having the ESC up near the batteries uh, and having long motor wires. Uh, but it's a lot of fiddling about for me and I want to keep it all down at the bottom and as much pressure coming through the cooling as possible. Uh, so I've gone for the long wires <laughs> so here's the end of the harness looks a little bit complicated but it's not all it is is uh, a six cell and a three cell combined to make nine cell right uh, I'm using this setup because I had some six cell that's just the way the uh, the cookies crumbled for me but if I was starting again I'd have a five cell and a four cell to make nine cell uh, and they're just joined together here with a in series loop harness which is that shape yeah and as they combine to nine cell that just carries on all the way up to the end uh, with a mirrored pack here uh, as I say these are mirrored again so there's another nine cell here yeah because you're joining them parallel here that means red to red and black to black you're staying with the same nine cell and it's running up there but you've got a bit more capacity that means you've got better run time uh, and you could do other branches of that as well if you want to put extra run time in again or use bigger batteries uh, very important though if you're going to do this and you're using batteries is to get, make sure that they're all the same size in MAH or capacity which is 4500 in these particular thingies and also the discharge rate is, is, is matched up as well these particular ones are 40C uh, as long as you do that everything will be fine if you use an inferior battery you're going to find that something eats up rather quickly and you could have a fire but if you just stay with nice batteries that'll be lovely so we've got capacitors we've got this that and the other yeah heat is the way that i'm identifying any problems uh, the worst heat is in these capacitors you want to avoid that at all all costs uh, because they, they cost quite a lot of money uh, although you can repair them sometimes you might damage all the electronics so making sure that they're not hot while you're playing and uh, testing things out is good that they don't get critically hot the other place to feel is also the motor wires will get hot if things are overloaded so you know where your maximum point is don't go beyond it and also the can on the motor gets hot which is the inside bit of the motor here not the outside jacket that's full of water so feel for this bit on the inside of the can wires and capacitors and if you do the same again on here and just while you're testing things if everything stays cool you're laughing and then you should be getting out and doing a bit of surfing
Uh, I'm going to run this board probably one more time before I get my new one set up uh, and I'm going to run it with both different motors because I want to see how they perform against each other I think that's a 520 and that's a 620 or 6, 530, 620 maybe I don't know uh, but different torque uh, I have got a cooling mount for that but I'm going to run it to see how hot it gets uh, and that's about it I think for now uh, I'll put a build uh, a video up of my brand new board and some of the bits I'm going to be fitting uh, as I say put a few more caps on here uh, and test it again and see if I can get this down negligible it was a little bit warm but well within tolerance and I'm happy to take it out with three caps but I think if we put six on it or four between four or six it might even be better I don't know we can only try it and cut the uh, cooling pipes down okay the water cooling pipes all right it's been lovely yeah it's all great it's going swimming i should be out on the pool very very soon as soon as it warms up a little bit my good friends all right have a wonderful evening and all the very best take it easy toodaloo bye 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 bye